For this video I am using modified level and resource files that allow me to jump into the recon and disable all the usual level triggers. As you can see, the position and rotation of many objects is adjusted to the terrain. The slopes are not smooth, that is something I will need to look into. The recon physics in Battalion Wars 1 are very bouncy, which can make the ride more or less enjoyable, depending on your opinion. In the distance you can see a few trees and other objects that I moved away from the racetrack. The textures are stretched across the surface of the giant hills. The hills on this part of the track ended up being steeper than intended. Again you can see how bouncy the recon physics are and how difficult it is to keep it straight. Luckily in Battalion Wars 2 the recon physics are much improved.
if you have watched Mabrino's video on the unplayable Tundra Territory units in Battalion Wars 2, he has talked about how the Tundra Recon is improved in the second game compared to the first one and how there was supposed to be a recon racing level, which inspired my modding efforts for this video. The terrain format for Battalion Wars 2 is very similar to the format in the first game. We also know how to modify the scripts in the levels, so with some effort it would definitely be possible to make that racing level for the multiplayer of Battalion Wars 2. The very bumpy road and bouncy recon physics made me lose speed very quickly. I made the worst possible mistake by spinning the vehicle while trying to make this jump. I will end the video now with one last bounce.